I'm here with John Lawler, who's the director of Empire Marina Bob and Head. It's a beautiful day down here today. What's so unique about this marina? Darren, Empire Marina is, is just very unique in, it, in its location, uh, in, in the Karingai Chase National Park. Uh, we're just 30 minutes from the Sydney CBD, which makes access to the marina from the city you know, very accessible. We've got beautiful uh, waterways and in the National Park itself, it's just a wonderful place to be and it's quite an experience to, to be able to keep your boat here and relax in, in such a, an environment. I can see that uh, around Sydney there was a bit of wind today, but we're down in the marina. It's just, there's nothing down here. Is it always like this down here? Yeah, Darren, if you look look around the marina, this is what I'd call, uh, this is a, a rough day for us. Uh, we're quite a while from uh, away from the ocean, but we're surrounded by, by big hills, um, you know, flat, flat water, very little current, and we're not too affected at all by the extreme weather events that, that hit Sydney. Well, that's great. One of the, I guess one of the really interesting things about people and enjoying their boating is actually the ease of berthing. Uh, clearly, the marina here has very wide fairways. Looks like it's got deep water, uh, and without the uh, without the wind effect, it's obviously pretty easy to berth a boat here. Is that one of the major features of the marina? You think? It's certainly what I hear from our new customers who come from a lot of other marinas that just all of a sudden they come here and after a couple of times they're sort of going, wow, this is so easy. This is so much easier than the other marinas that say with, with very little current that comes through the marina, uh, very little wind effect. Um, and the layout of the marina itself and the marina arms, um, they're very generous in their dimensions there and the berths themselves. So uh, I, I hear that a lot, that it's a lot easier to use your boat and enjoy the boat here, you know, in, in Bob and Head. Oh, that's great. And if I want to service my boat, what sort of facilities have you got here for being able to do that? We've got everything. We've got every, all the trades that you would need on site, um, from electricians, marine painters, shipwrights, uh, trimmers, marine mechanics, uh, boat detailers, and a little coffee shop stroke uh, eatery, or also if you, if you feel a bit hungry too. So everything you need here is on site. Oh, well, that's great. And there's, uh, it seems to be quite a good friendly atmosphere down here. Is there sort of many social events and things like that that, uh, that bring the boaters together? Yeah, there's a couple of initiatives we've brought in in the last couple of years. Uh, one was to sort of during um, the summer season, daylight saving, we'll have a monthly barbecue with, uh, with our tenants and they're becoming quite, um, quite uh, successful in people taking them up. And it's a thing we do on, usually on a Friday night, the first Friday of the month. And then people will come down and get an early start on the weekend have a sausage and a bit of a barbecue with us and then usually stay the night on the boat and that's the start to their weekend. Fantastic. It must be fantastic down here at night at you know being in the national park itself already. It is. It's it's so silent, so dark and you know you still just can't believe that you're so close to a major city centre such as Sydney but in here you just you're just in another world. The other initiative that we've brought in was for the ladies was the Empire Girls Club which is a, a charity-based organisation just to engage with the, the wives of the owners of boats, um, for social events, get-togethers, um, just so that everything's not all um, revolving around the boat. You know, as I say, it's just a social event for the, for the ladies and that's becoming also quite popular. There's some very good events and interesting events that are coming along you know, throughout the year. Well, that sounds awesome. So tell me about the waterways around here. You know, what's so special about the waterways around Bob and Head? Deep water is the main thing. There's, there's no obstructions uh, between here and, and Baron Joey. Um, you've got to be way offline to get in trouble with any any rocks. Um, and again, we're just sheltered from, a, from the worst of the winds. Um, and again, you say the deep water, there's a lot of public moorings um, that are supplied by national parks. And also if you join organisations such as the Bob and Head Cruising Club, who are based here in Empire Marina, um, they've also got uh, swing moorings located throughout pit water and even up to um, Brisbane waters, I think they're going um, further out to Spencer, isn't it? I think they've got one out in Spencer or something like that, which is amazing. So it's really got a lot of water coverage in uh, in this part of uh, in this part of Sydney. So I guess the as a final question, what's your uh, what's your favourite bay or anchorage around these waters? I think it would have to be Houseboat Bay. It's 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 one of the the, the, the less used. It's a little bit smaller than the others, with not too many moorings. But uh, you know you can. On, that's the thing with, with pit water. You can go to Refuge Bay where you're surrounded by other boats and you know it's very social um, and a lot of people very much enjoy that. Personally, I enjoy the little bit quieter ones and sort of get away from everyone. Um, but Houseboat Bay sort of ticks all the boxes for me and for my friends. Well, that's great. Well, thanks very much for your time. Pleasure, Darren. Good to, good to talk to you.